Your forms can be integrated with workflows when creating edit pages and when you need to have a workflow user fill out and submit a new form. Typically, you'll want your forms to look and feel like the rest of your workflow and integrate seamlessly. Let's open a new form in the form designer and look at some common settings we can update to help the form integrate with the workflow. Keep in mind, not all of these changes may be necessary when you do your integration. First, we can remove all of the borders and formatting to give a simple, plain look. Open the Theme and Style Editor, click Page, and then choose Plain from the Preset menu. This removes all the formatting. Next, we can remove the heading, subheading, and footer, since in most cases, this is included as part of the workflow. Double-click the text and hit Delete, and then Enter. Next, we can change the button sub-theme to use the workflow button theme, which matches the style of buttons used in the workflows. Click Buttons, and then choose the workflow button theme. Finally, if the form is being displayed on an edit page or a custom page, you will often want the form to align left. This can be done by changing the margin left setting of the page theme. Click Page, then click Show All Properties. Next, expand the outer container section and change the margin left property from Auto to Zero. You'll see this moves the form over to the left. The formatting is now complete, and the form should now blend smoothly with your workflow. Next, let's take a quick look at how we can change which fields are being displayed to a user when the form is used in a workflow. The first way to change what is being displayed is to use a dependency. Click on a field and open the dependency editor. Choose form display slash access mode and take a note of what options are available. Depending on how your form is being used by the workflow, you can create a rule to hide or show the field. This is the easiest way to hide and show fields on your form when it is used in a workflow. The other way to change the form when it is used on a workflow is to use a form view. Form views are views of your form, which can include different formatting and fields. When you link a form via a workflow or use a form on an edit page, you can select which form view to use. This allows you to have completely different layouts, text, and fields for forms used within a workflow. Let's take a look at how to create a form view. First, we'll undo all of the changes we made to the form. Now open the form view menu and click Create and Manage Views. Then select Create New View. Give the form view a name and choose to start with a blank canvas. Double click the form view to open it in the form designer. We now have a blank form with the default formatting. Let's add some fields from our primary form and adjust the layout like we did in the previous step. We can add the company field, the product field, and the shipping field. Like in the earlier steps, we can change it to a plain simple theme without both headers and a footer. Once again, we can change the buttons to suit our needs. Now after we save our changes, we have a form view that will integrate nicely with our workflows. And we can switch back to our primary form and see that it has not changed at all. By using form views, we can keep our original form the same and use this new form view when we integrate with a workflow. As you can see, it's easy to integrate your forms with workflows and create powerful web applications.